information station outside with Carl Nelson and summer and bubbles. They go hand in hand. Everybody exactly. has them at home. Exactly. And it's something you can make at home so simply. And to make bubbles, you need like three things. Okay. You need water, obviously. Water, check. You're going to need some Dawn dish detergent. It Must just, be Dawn. It, it, Tends to work okay. really well. All right, um, Dawn but, you know, dish detergent. Any kind of surfactant, any kind of dish detergent will work. Okay. Dawn seems to work the best. Sure. And, you know, if you buy one of these size containers, this is a uh, 28 fluid ounce. Mm -hmm. Add this to three gallons of water. Okay, so the entire thing you to can, three the entire gallons. Thing. If you want to make a big solution, and the, the solutions are on our website, the recipes, if oh, you will. Okay, so you perfect. can check that out, imaginationstationtoledo.org. But basically, you can add some surfactant okay. that reduces the water t uh, surface tension of the water. All right. Okay, and at this point, you're pretty much good. You can make bubbles with this. Okay. But if you want to take it to the next level, which we do. The secret ingredient is a polymer solution. This is guar gum. You okay. can find it in the specialty food section or on the internet. It's a long chain polymer. Guar gum. Okay. Guar gum. Check out the website. We got the instructions there, but we're just going to add some guar gum there. What does this do? Nobody really okay. seems to fully understand. Yeah, go ahead right. and stir it up. The science behind why those long chain polymers make this into a super self-healing bubble solution is not really quite understood. Oh. So, I mean, you can search the internet for all sorts of recipes and, you know, people talking about how this stuff works. All right. All we need to know is it works so great. So super bubbles, that's what we're doing. Super bubbles, so, <laughs> and it's stuff you can make at home. Okay, and so, this is some of the solution already made, right? Slu super solution already made and it's been aged for a day or so. Oh, go boy. ahead and just scoop that up okay. and give it a, give it a, a swing. Whoa, that was a big one. All right, let me try again. So the nice thing about this solution is the bubbles. Whoa! Oh, look at that. That is nice. There the we bubbles, go. you almost had one bubble inside a bubble. Yeah. And you can make these long tubes. <laughs> now, that's really cool. Uh, and this is something you can do and at you home. You can just hold it here. I'm not yeah. even doing anything. I'm letting the wind nice do the work. You've got a nice breeze, and the wind is doing all the work. Okay. Now, the, the nice part about this is. This makes eh, pretty big size bubbles, yeah. but we want to go ginormous. Of course we do. And in order to do that, we're going to step in front of the counter here. Okay. I've got these really long catfish fishing poles. Yes, yes, these are giant. Attached to a string that's okay. in the bucket. And that's it's in one of your super large batches. This is one of the super solutions here. Okay. In fact, let me get this other, I had an extra wand in there. What you're going to do is you're just simply going to lift in fact, I'll leave that in there. Just see what happens. I want you to lift them up like this. Lift them up together, okay. and then just spread them apart just a little bit. All right. So keep, keep the tips together. Go ahead and Lifting keep pulling. Together. Keep them. Keep pulling. Keep going. Keep going. I'll make sure you don't get tangled here. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. And now go ahead and spread them apart a little. Perfect. Whoa. Oh. All right. Whoa. Oh. 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 Okay. So. <laughs> so that's fun. All right. So let's bring it back again. in. Bring it back in. Yep. I'll bring you back down. Just keep them to go a little bit closer together this time. Closer. All right. We got a little bit of wind out here, and that's making it a little bit tricky. All right, go ahead and bring them, keep them right next to one another. Okay. Right next to one another, bring it straight up, and then spread them out. That's perfect, right there. Now walk backwards, walk backwards. Woo! Oh, man. Almost. It's the wind, it's the wind. It's, it we have is time the for one more, Carl. Let's see if we can get it right. The one thing that kills bubbles is when it, they lose their moisture. So on a hot day, it's not the best day to do bubbles. Early in the morning is great, or even a day that has a bit of humidity. Okay, bring those up, this is gonna work and just slightly pull them apart, and then walk, walk backwards, walk backwards. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Woo, there yeah. we go, okay, all right. So you get I the idea. It's because it's just so big, but that is super awesome. What's nice about those fishing rods is they're really lightweight, so it's really easy to do. And so you can use essentially any sort of rope product and make anything. any kind of bubble Pretty maker. much anything. Cotton rope works the best. Cotton rope. So okay. if you have cotton rope with something inside of it, pull that inner part out, and you can make ginormous bubbles. Wow. Okay, super cool. So only three ingredients, the uh, goo, goo gar, guar gum. Guar gum, guar gum, dawn, and some water. You can find all the recipes on the Imagination Station's website. And of course, it's Saturday, so guess what? In addition to making <laughs> bubbles, you can come down to the Imagination Station. <laughs> if you're a Lucas County resident, children 12 and under, get in free. <laughs>